What's up, guys? So we're going to go visit the half-off store. Uh, I know we were there last week. Uh, we did find a couple things, but we're trying to see if we're going to find any of the newer stuff because there was a lot of stuff coming up on clearance at Target, and a lot of that stuff is going to be salvaged soon. So with the, how these liquidation stores work is that they buy all this salvage material. When I say salvage, it's because that's the terminology that Target uses, but it's basically any items that are no longer going to be sold at the store, and then they send them back to the distribution center, and then they get sold to these liquidator stores for another shot, another chance, an opportunity for customers like myself to buy these products. Now, a lot of this, a lot of it is usually like in pallets that these liquidation stores buy. So that way, you know, whatever they, whatever they get out of these pallets. And I don't know how it really works because maybe it's random pallets of product. Maybe they actually have pallets that are designated to the type of product that's in there. But the half off store, they have like two, maybe up to three aisles worth of toys for boys and girls. And of course for collectible stuff too. Uh, so, Ever since I discovered this place earlier in like, I want to say February, March, I'm always there like every other week. It's crazy. I used to be there every week because they just constantly got in new stuff over and over again, but it's always so cool to find. And I've constantly been hitting up these liquidation stores in my toy hunts. It's awesome finding the craziest stuff, the older stuff, and sometimes the new stuff. So you just got to check it out. Uh, if you have liquidation stores in your area, Go there. You never know what you're going to find. They may get stuff there every week, just like the half off store does the total liquidator stores. I'm always going to check them out. It's going to be part of my toy hunts. So we're going to go. We're going to also hit up a target. If I find anything else, we'll check it out. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let's go check that. Let's go check out this store. And another new favorite half off store. Yeah. So of course, DC Multiverse, always, gonna, they're always gonna be sitting on this. But for $4.99, that's not bad. $4.99 for these figures. There's a few exceptions. There's a Lex Luthor now, Aquaman. They got this two pack in, which is awesome. $15.99, look at that. Your Mirrorverse. Have a lot of mirror verse 750 not bad even the basic figures that you normally see like the titan figures and yeah, definitely a mcfarlane quite a few good stuff there now here's a shocker oh my god what the hell this is unopened but this price seems wrong we're gonna ask them about it and some dungeon dragons look at that bobby uni and uni and they also have gi joe's uh, of course, they're the peg warming stuff, the old movie waves, but they do have Rakonda, which was the Target exclusive, and they have a Lady J right there. $13.79, $11.99, and some Super 7 figures too. They've been sitting on the Power Rangers for a while. They haven't dropped the prices yet, but these are all 10 bucks. They still have, look at that, they have Andros, $10. Not bad for 10 bucks. And they do have a lot of the uh, Silver Ranger with the vehicle, 20 bucks. And of course, Marvel Legends. So they have been sitting on this stuff for a bit. I mean, it's the Khonshu Build-A-Figure wave. It's the Infinity Ultron wave, but they still have a couple extra things here. I mean, here's the Howard the Duck. Um, that's, that's a rare one to find for 15 bucks right there. So not too bad. Mbaku, great price, $12.49. If you want an army build, this would be great. $11.49, great price there. Look at that, and Mighty Thor. And there's still some more here on the shelf. Look at that, $12.99 for that zombie Iron Man. There's some more, Lady Thor. Miss Marvel, $10. Great price right there. A lot of Lokis. They, they really got a huge end of the Lokis. But Kate Bishop for $8.99. If you can do something with that body, because it's a great figure body for double joints, uh, 
butterflies, double knee, and it's all pinless. That's great. A ton of Nerf. You can always use some Nerf guns, right? Star Wars Micro Galaxies still going on some model kits too and some vintage collection they still have boba fett's here look at that you don't see dengar a lot every day 11.49 a lot of landos of course it's a lot of landos um but oh my god look they got in some greek cargas in 10 bucks for some magistrate carga which is nice this is the better one really cool to see that but they do have a lot of the target exclusives like there's the short trooper 8.99 this ranges in a lot of prices for some reason but i think some of them are cheaper either that or they will drop them and tika ned and more of the singles right there jurassic park we got a lot of this a lot of jurassic park you normally see this clearancing out at target which is why it ends up here why it ends up here look at that they even got the little figures too 2.99 muldoon arnold quite a bit oh wow there's a lot sattlers here too now i know some of these were going real cheap at 11.99 like the larger ones this was 11.99 at target but they priced at 16.79 which isn't bad if you were still looking for one even the crab suit 23.99 eh, it's not too bad but this is the second chance this is the second chance store where they you can try and find them look at that and we have NECA we have the not mystery box but it is here but that's pretty cool end cap of wrestling figures which is a lot of the newer stuff too because here's Fatu right there this was the previous wave and some AEW which is pretty cool to see uh oh look there's China too some of these range some up as $13.99 and as low as $4.99. And definitely here's some more wrestling. It's a lot of the legends, of course. But look, AJ Styles, this is fairly new. The Molly Hollies and the Lex Lugers, they're pretty much been sitting here for a while. But they do have Jeff Hardy as the ultimate, still sitting here at $19.99. Look at that, There's that is not Farouk. <laughs> <laughs> swap oh my god uh where can i fit this right now keebler spawn figures look at this the vince mcmahon build a figure look at that brett hitman hard and stone cold who else was this in aj and Shawn michaels really cool and there is some look at that chris jericho i have a cody rhodes 30 bucks is way too much way too much we still have Britt baker here 30 dollars. this is wild of course it's beat up everything looks like it's good that's awesome to see really cool really really cool very very nice 20 bucks too not too bad he-man figures a lot a lot of this stuff has been clearing out a long time ago so it's cool to see that you can buy them here too look at that evil lens here that merman's here frost is here not bad some more clearance but in the Funko Pop realm 10 bucks 5.99 3.59 Mandis yeah it's expected you never know we just figured we'd take a look all right we got to scan it just to see look we also found this so we're gonna scan that but Yondu is not on clearance and we're gonna scan spots yes that's awesome Ooh. Got this one. Look at that. Alright guys, I'm hitting a liquidation store that I've never been to before, but 
I figured I'd see what they could possibly have gotten in here. And they are sitting on a ton of old Eternals, which could have been here for a while. 10 bucks, even some DC Multiverse, which is missing an arm for the bat. Uh, but yeah, there's just Eternals all over the place here. And not just that, there's also these Bandai figures. Some of them are taped up, meaning they could have been returned. There's a Power Rangers Ninja Ranger right there. And, you know, there's a lot. There's quite a bit. I mean, within their toy section, there's quite a bit of stuff here. Not much to really be like, oh, we'll go all excited. But you never know what you're going to find. Look at that. We found Miss Marvel. That's more newer. So cool to see that. Um, but of course, here's more Eternals. There's an Icarus right here. Ten bucks, you know what? Legends for ten bucks isn't bad at all. But we know these are sitting at uh, uh, Ollie's at the moment. So, hey, you never know what you're going to find. So you might as well double check and see what's here. Welcome back, guys. So, haul portion. What do we get? Uh, to be honest, I didn't get anything at the High Fall store. As much as I did find some newer items that were there, I held off. I kind of behaved. So that way I can just, uh, you know, use my money towards something else. There was the WWE Ultimates Bret Hart, which was very tempting. 20 bucks. That's actually pretty good for that figure. They're normally like $34, something like that. Damage box, no big deal. I would open it anyway. Um, it's cool to see new wrestling figures there crazier to even find that NECA uh, Colossus of the Swamp figure. That's a $54.99 retail cost figure. Target exclusive, of course, because you don't see those at Walmart. But to find it there, that was crazy. Meaning it ended up in salvage and it got, you know, they picked it up. Unfortunately, Unfortunately, they priced at $59.99. And I did ask. I did ask, why is this more than the retail price? And what the crazy answer was, uh, they they were going by, you know, third-party sellers. You know, how much is going for, like, eBay or Mercari? It was a little disappointing, but I fully understand. Uh, it is weird that they would do that considering all of this retail merchandise that they are picking up it's I, I don't know it i i i get it from a standpoint from let's just say like if this was a toy store like if this was a collectible shop and you 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 get product and you're going to kind of just sell it at a value that third party sellers are selling it at i'll understand it from that point but from their position as a liquid air type store, it was kind of weird to hear that answer. So it is what it is. I'm not going to fight them on it. It's their store. They can do whatever they want. They can price it whatever they want because it's their product or whatever. It's cool to see that they are starting to lower prices for stuff that is has been sitting there for a while. Some of those Marvel Legends like Loki and Hawkeye and... Uh, Kate Bishop, they, I'm sure they're going to drop the price. Now, remember, they did that for the McFarlane figures, all the DC Multiverse figures. They got rid of a lot of it once they dropped them all to five bucks. Now, a lot of the incoming stuff now, they're they're pricing it accordingly, of course. So they still have a lot of the four, uh, the Wonder Woman's there and the, let's say, the Batman figures there. And they are priced at $4.99. So... That's a good deal for if you want those figures. But it shows me that a lot of the stuff that's been sitting there will soon to be lowering in price. So let's hope for that and let's we'll, we'll see what happens with that. Uh, but we did go to Target. Um, I didn't record a lot in Target, but I was really happy that we did find Spot. We found Spot. We was just randomly sitting there, which was crazy. Uh, but we did get it for the $12.49 price, which is awesome. So good. $12.49 price. Hasn't even been like two months since these were actually released in the Target stores. And now we're seeing them on clearance, which is crazy. I know a lot of people are finding the Spider-Verse figures on clearance, uh, which is great. It all cleared out in my store, uh, a lot of my stores. But to find them just randomly, this could have been a return. 
Someone possibly returned it. They put it back on the shelf, and of course, boom, there you go. They didn't put a clearance sticker on it. That's why I checked the price, which is awesome. Um, and to double check, no, not double check, but there you go. The twelve forty nine price, which is really good, awesome, really really cool. Honestly, I'm returning it because I paid twenty four ninety nine, which was this right here. I paid the original twenty four ninety nine price, so I'm gonna get the difference. Really, I'm just getting the difference. That's the reason why I bought it. So then, someone else is gonna have an opportunity to buy that figure at twelve forty nine. That's really, I'm trying to save some money when I'm, you know, in, look at this collection. You know, we're going to try and save some money from somewhere. And if I bought it at a regular price and I can still make that <laughs> adjustment, I'm going to do it. Trust me. Uh, but we did get some mail, which is awesome. So this is really cool. Um, thank you to Renato. I, I, I appreciate this, man. This is really cool of you. Um, he sent me some of these little guys from Loose Collector when the Mr. Hyde figure came out. He actually got some of the little demon childs going on. <laughs> and here we go. There they are. Crazy looking bastards right here. But these go well with my Loose Collector figures that I got going on. So there were two of them. Now I have four, thanks to uh, Brian and Renato. This is awesome. We got two, now we have four. Crazy, crazy, crazy. So there you go with that. I did get a uh, Mercari purchase. I made a Mercari purchase, which which was funny, because, uh, oh my God, who? Relatable? I think Relatable Figs, he, he told me about this. And it is a loose figure of Vance Astro. Look at that. I haven't had Vance Astro in a very, very long time. But I got him back in. He was only 10 bucks. He is complete because here is his shield right there. But this also came with, this this listing came with two Build-A-Figure pieces. Jeez, uh, I, I forgot the name of this one. <laughs> uh, I'm already looking at him and I already forgot his name. And of course, like uh, either the Wendigo either the Wendigo or the, I forgot, could be either one. Yeah, it has to be the Wendigo bath. So there you go. I got two extra bath pieces. Don't know what I'm going to do with it, but I will figure that one out. So cool to have Vance Astro back in the collection. He's definitely going to go with the uh, uh, cosmic shelf right there with the Guardians of the Galaxy that like, going on. But one of the biggest things that I got, which if you checked out my live stream this past Monday, I did open them up. We did get a box from the four horsemen the four horsemen unbelievable this is the figure obscura this is sun wukong four and four this is the monkey king which is incredible this looks absolutely wonderful look at that that is ridiculous ah uh, i'm i almost passed on this figure completely passed on it because it's part of the figure obscura line I'm really more trying to do Mythic Legions and now Cosmic Legions. So I'm very picky with Figure Obscura. But this, I was like, you know what? Pulled the trigger, got it. It's awesome. It's absolutely wild, this figure. If you want to see it um, unbox, you can check out the live stream that I had. Uh, but I will I will work on you know trying to take some pictures of this guy. But there you go. All right. So that's the video. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Thank you guys, all the new subscribers. Oh, man, you guys blew me away with that that uh, Ollie's video that I had this past uh, this past Sunday. Good Lord, I I am so shocked. I really am. Thank you so much, everyone, for for jumping on my channel, hitting that subscribe button, leaving a comment. I think I got everybody's comments, but thank you guys so much. Hopefully we can keep on continuing with these hunts. Let me know what you guys are wanting to see. I would love to hear from you guys, all the new subscribers. So thank you guys again. Like, comment, subscribe. As always, hope to see you soon. And I hope to see you on the next hunt.